welcome to our new video that is mcqs on virology or viruses and this is the part 12 of this series of videos on mcqs on virology so the first question is which virus has a segmented genome and options are hepatitis virus rabies virus or polio virus or influenza virus and the right answer is option d that is influenza virus so influenza virus as a segmented genome okay so move on to the next question that is viroid refers to plant viruses animal viruses bacteriophages or prion proteins and the right answer is option a that is plant viruses so viroid refers to plant viruses move on to the next question that is prions refers to bacteriophages small viruses virus without detectable nucleic acid or pathogenic viruses and the right answer is option c that is virus without detectable nucleic acid so prions refer to virus without detectable nucleic acid okay so the next question is a cell line which form a monolayer and survives for a few generation is called primary cell line organ culture continuous cell line or semi continuous cell line and the right answer is option a that is primary cell line so a cell line which forms a monolayer and survives for a few generation is called primary cell line okay so next question is which is a primary cell line so options are hella cell line monkey kidney cell line hep2 cell line or vero cell line and the right answer is option b that is monkey kidney cell line is a primary cell line so next one is the size of capsid or protein coat surrounding is 600 amino acid or 158 amino acids or 474 amino acid or cannot be predicted and the right answer is option b that is it contains 158 amino acids so the capsid or protein code of virus contain 158 amino acids okay so move on to the next a helical capsid of tmb that means tobacco mosaic virus has a suitable size which can be affected by number of capsid protomers nucleic acid enclosed in the capsid or both of the uh, above that means both a and b or neither a nor b and the right answer is option c that is both a and b that means a helical capsid of tmb has a suitable size which can be affected by number of capsid protomers and nucleic acid enclosed in the capsid so the next one is when isocedral viruses are stained and visualized under transmission electron microscope they appeared as the capsid is ring or uh, knob shaped made of five or six protomers the pentamers or five protomers are at vertice, uh, vertice of isocedron iso and hexamer are at edges or option c that is mostly pentamer and hexamer are made of only single type subunit or option d that is all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above are correct among this among this uh, <coughs> isocedral viruses and when they are stained and visualized under transmission electron microscope they appeared as this all okay all three so move on to the next which of the following organism is much more diverse and flexible for its genetic material content and options are viruses virusoid and prions rickettsia and chlamydia or mycoplasma and the right answer is option a that is viruses so viruses are the organisms which is much more diverse and flexible for its genetic material content so move on to the next one that is which of the following can be genetic material in viruses 
ऑप्शन सर सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए और डबल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए और डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए बोथ ए और बी कैन बी और नाइदर ए नॉट बी एंड द ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज बोथ ए और बी कैन बी सो दैट मींस द जेनेटिक मटेरियल इन वायरसेस कैन बी सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए और डबल स्टैंडर्ड आरएनए सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए और डबल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए बोथ कैन बी हैपन so move on to the next which of the following can be true to genetic material in viruses options are plant viruses mostly are single stranded rna all four types of genetic material are possible in case of animal viruses that is single stranded dna or double stranded dna and single stranded rna or double stranded rna or option c phages are mostly having double stranded genetic material or option d all of the above assumptions hold true in case of viruses so the answer is option d that means all three options are this all options are correct about the genetic material in viruses okay so move on to the next which is a diploid cell line so options are human embryonic lung strain hela cell line hep2 cell line bhk21 cell line and the right answer is option a that is human embryonic cell uh, lung strain is a diploid cell line so move on to the next question that is a diploid cell line which can be subcultured for about 3040 times is called primary cell line semi continuous cell line continuous cell line or organ culture and the right answer is option b it is semi continuous cell line so a diploid cell line which can be subcultured for about 3040 times is called semi continuous cell line so move on to the next one that is which cell line can be pro uh, propagated independently and the options are organ transplant culture primary cell line semi continuous cell line continuous cell line and the right answer is option d that is continuous cell line so continuous cell line can be propagated in indefinitely okay so next one all of the following are continuous cell line except vero cell line hep2 cell line hela cell line monkey kidney cell line and the right answer is option d so option d is not a continuous cell line okay so move on to the next which cell line is derived from cancer cells so options are human embryo lung strain bhk21 cell line human amnion cell line or monkey kidney cell culture and the right answer is option b that is bhk21 cell line is derived from cancer cells so next one is hela cell line is derived from monkey kidney cell line human cervical carcinoma baby hamster kidney cell line or varvet monkey cell line and the right answer is option b that is human cervical carcinoma so hela cell line is derived from human cervical carcinoma so move on to the next that is among the following which is a single stranded dna representative virus So options are M13 and AFD phages, herpes virus, cytomegalovirus, or lambda phage. And the right answer is option A, that is M13 and AFD phages. So among the following, which is the single stranded DNA representative virus? That is M13 and AFD phages are single stranded DNA representative virus. So move on to the next, that is among the following, which is a linear single stranded dna representative virus and options are m13 and afd phages herpes virus cytomegalovirus or parvovirus and the right answer is option d that is parvovirus so parvovirus is a linear single stranded dna representative virus so the last question of this video is among the following which is a linear double stranded dna representative virus and options are m13 herpes virus fd phages or parvovirus and the right answer is option b 
that is herpes virus so herpes virus is a linear double standard representative virus okay so these are all 20 questions of this video so thank you for watching this video